and in today's video we'll have a closer look at thread lifting. You have probably heard about PDO threads, but there's actually more materials which are used for threads and there's lots of different thread types. So we'll go over all of that and we'll talk about how long these effects last. But before we get into it, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you can be the first one to find out when we are posting new videos about skincare procedures and skincare products all the way from South Korea. Okay, let's have a look at thread types. First of all, what are threads? Threads enable us to control sagging skin on our face or bodies or simply lift areas um, such as our brows to achieve a specific look. So thread lifts are as effective as facelifts, but they have way less downtime and they are a low risk procedure. They're also generally less invasive. A survey done by Real Self shows that 95% of the people that have had thread lifts felt it was absolutely worth it. Even though it's a very low risk procedure, there are a couple of side effects like bruising and swelling, but with the proper care and rest, these go away in just a couple of days. The results from having threads can last between one to three years depending on the type of threads and a lot of surgeons recommend having threads together with some other beauty procedures to have the optimal effect. Up next, where can threads be used? So threads can be used on the face and especially for the following issue, forehead lines, lip contouring, jawline contouring, wrinkles around the mouth, foxy eyes, or even neck wrinkles. They can also be used for the belly or the butt. Okay, so next, what are threads made of? First of all, you probably know PDO. PDO is a biodegradable synthetic polymer and the most representative material used for non-surgical lifting because of its safety and absorbent properties. The material is hypoallergic and non-toxic. PDO threads can be used not only on the face, but also for body tightening and to reduce the after effects of liposuction. The effects of PDO threads can last up to eight months. Then next one, PLLA. So PLLA has the ability to accumulate water. So the moisture content of tissue after implantation increases and the skin firmness is restored. The body reacts to the introduction of the thread by forming a connective tissue around it, which provides an increasing tightening effect. Over time, when PLLA threads are completely dissolved, the connective tissue formed around these threads also start to dissolve, but the effects can last between 18 and 24 months. Then next there is PCL. PCL is an FDA approved material that provides a long lasting treatment effect, longer than PLLA or PDO. Another advantage of PCL is that it has a much higher tensile strength than PDO or PLLA. So there is less risk of snapping during the treatment. Also, PCL is very soft and flexible and it hardly feels once it's under the skin. The effects of having PCL threads can last between 24 months and four years, depending on the thread type. Okay, so now that we have talked about all the different materials, let's talk about the thread types. Each thread material comes in four different types. You have the mono, the screw, the double, or the cog. Okay, so mono threads. Mono threads are smooth and used for general lifting. They are the most common type of thread. They are used for the neckline, the abdominum, the butt, the hands, the inner thighs, under the eyes, nasolabial folds, between the eyebrows, and for eye wrinkles. PDA mono threads are used for general lifting, while PCL and PLLA target flabby skin in the areas mentioned before. Okay, next, screw threads. So screw threads are slightly barbed, making it more effective in lifting while tightening the skin. These threads are used mostly for face or for facial expression lines. The areas which can be treated could be the nasal labial folds, the mouth frown, lip contouring, the drooping eyelids, 
and along the jaw line. The next one is cog threads, very similar to mono threads, but contain barbs that attach just underside the skin. These barbs offer enhanced support to the structure of the skin and to lift sagging areas. Not only that, but they also effectively promote collagen formation around the threads and their barbs. You can use these threads in the face and for the body. And then the last one, the double arm. So this kind of thread is specifically designed for eyebrow and lower jaw bone threading. The double arm threads are made easy for contouring, non-traumatic double pointed needles and leave minimal damage to the skin. So now that we covered all the materials and the different types, let's have a look at some frequently asked questions. First of all, the most common question that we get, what are the side effects of using threads? So there's actually very few side effects apart from some bruising and swelling after the treatment because PDO, PCL, PLLA are used for biomedical applications and they have been used for several decades. They are degraded by hydrolysis and the end products are mainly excreted in the urine and the remainder being eliminated by digestive or exhaled CO2. Then the next question, what is the difference of effects between having threads or laser or HIFU? So the main difference is when you can see the effect. When you're having laser or HIFU, you don't see the effect straight away and it can last, it can take up to weeks before you see an effect. But if you have threads, this immediately shows and this satisfies the patients. And then the last question, what kind of results can I expect from tread lifting procedures? Threads increase the regeneration ability of cells itself by damaging skin tissue so you can get rejuvenation, brightening and tightening effects. So depending on the type of thread, you can not only get rid of fine wrinkles, but also of deep wrinkles in the face and body. I hope this video was helpful for you, but if you have any other question about threads, please let us know in the comment section below. Okay, see you next time.